Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel. And today I'm speaking with David Regan, the CEO of Sona Nanotech. S-O-N-A is the ticker symbol on the Canadian Security Exchange. How are you today, David? I'm great, Chris. Thanks for having me on. Um, your company is a nanotechnology life sciences company. Maybe for investors who may not know much about what that is, can you give us a brief background on it? Sure. So Sona Nanotech is a company that's been built up around its proprietary and patent pending gold nano rod technology. And really what that is, is it's a technology that enables us to manipulate particles of gold on the nano scale uniquely without the use of toxins. And that I'll tell you a little bit further on, but why that's important. But, uh, but we've built the company up and we've got two focuses leveraging on that technology. Okay, and so what, it, what are the focuses um, that the technology is used for? So the gold nanorods can be used in a variety of different applications. We've built up an expertise in lateral flow rapid tests. So the ones like uh, pregnancy tests and of course the COVID tests that, uh, that we've all seen uh, oh so many times in the past uh, year and a half, sadly. Uh, the second area, is a longer term focus for us in terms of um, researching out the capabilities of our particular technology that will enable them to be used in the body for such things as photothermal applications and targeted drug delivery. Okay, so um, are you, and how are you testing these, uh, these applications? Are you working with various uh, you know, universities? I saw there was a recent announcement with uh, U of T, maybe you can go into that a bit. Yeah, we're very fortunate to be working with Dr. Warren Chan at the leading bioengineering institute in Canada and, um, and their lab. And uh, we're very excited. And, and what we'll be exploring in the studies that will be, uh, will be announced in the future, we, uh, we expect, uh, is the biocompatibility of our gold nanorods. Again, going back to this idea that we uniquely can make gold nanorods without the use of toxins. And that, of course, you can imagine, Chris, is going to be extremely important when we start taking these tiny gold nanorods and putting them in the body for, for various medical applications. Now, I've got to say, this is an emerging area of, uh, of science and medicine, and it is many years from, uh, from fully being developed, and it will rely upon researchers and, um, and entrepreneurs from around the world, but we believe we can play a, a very important role in that. And what are the sort of the major diagnostic tests that you would be using uh, this the, the gold nanorods with? So there are a variety of different uh, uh, rapid tests we're working on right now. A concussion test, importantly, rapid concussion test uh, uh, doesn't exist that can be used within a number of minutes field side. Uh, we're working on, of course, a COVID test. And we have a COVID test that uses saliva uh, that we're very excited about. We partnered with uh, with a great company in the U.S. that's already FDA certified, called Arlington Scientific. And to date, there's no rapid saliva test that's been approved. We think that's one that can make uh, can play a very very important role in limiting the pandemic. Uh, do, do, we'll just follow this uh, this train of thought for a second with the, with the COVID test and and that. Um, relationship, will that sort of bring revenue into the company sort of in the next year or so? Well, it's interesting because we talk about the two different areas of focus the company has right now. Yeah. The first one on diagnostics, that's that we expect much nearer term revenues to accrue from there, particularly our COVID saliva test, which is in the midst of uh, an IRB approval in the US, and we expect to kick off a clinical study for it in the coming weeks. And now, what is your background with the company? So I've been with the company for about uh, a year and a half. Uh, it's been a very exciting time for the company. The company um, uh, was in a startup phase at the time, and the company has grown a fair amount uh, and has learned a great deal in the last year and a half. It's been exciting times, and, um, and we're very pleased at this stage with uh, the developments both on the, the longer-term research prospects for our gold nanorod technology, as well as the nearer term revenues associated with, for what we expect to be revenues associated with a, an antigen test for saliva uh, in the US in the coming months. 
So as investors uh, looking at your company to make an investment in, um, in the biotech space, uh, what can they expect uh, from news flow, say, for the next uh, six months or so into 2022? Well, Chris, we've got a number of things going on on both fronts. Um, first, on the on the fundamental research side, which is, we believe, the bigger opportunity, frankly, but much, much more longer term uh, because of those medical applications and, and the work that needs to be done by, uh, by many uh, around the world. Um, but nonetheless, with uh, an, an MOU with the University of Toronto's Bioengineering Institute announced, we hope to have more to discuss around that as far as some of the specific studies that we think can be quite exciting because we expect to be able to prove out the biocompatibility of our gold nanorods. On the other side of the company, on the rapid diagnostics front, uh, we've already announced that we've, um, we are anticipating a clinical trial for our saliva test in the US with a US uh, partner who is, U is FDA certified and has a, a great deal of experience working with the FDA and has extremely strong distribution in the US. So we think there'll be uh, uh, a number of different developments to, to be speaking about in the coming months, if all goes well. Well, great. We look forward to uh, following your company and, and interviewing you again uh, soon when you have uh, some additional news. Uh, and I appreciate your time uh, today. Uh, I was speaking with David Regan, who is the CEO of Sona Nanotech. Uh, ticker symbol is SONA on the CSE. Thanks for your time, David. Thanks, Chris. Look forward to catching up next time.